Well, I hate to say it, but you might have to say goodbye to your bank because right now we are getting more and more reports that banks are closing. But why? Is it because there's an increased risk to having a bank open? No. Is it because workers just don't want to work in the banking industry anymore? Well, not really. Is it because banks are running out of money because of all the financial crises going on in the world? Uh, a little bit, but there's another reason. And I'm going to break down what that reason is in just a moment. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So why would a bank close? Is it because they're running out of money? No, not necessarily. There is a bigger reason why banks are closing, but what's scary is that we are already getting reports of when banks are going to be leaving states. For instance, Vermont, Oregon, Maine, and Connecticut, there's predictions right now that those states will be without a banking location by 2031. So within the next roughly six years, we are going to see they have no banks. There's no physical banking location in those states. Guess what? New York, 2035. California, 2037. So yes, in a little over 12 years, there's reports that there will be no physical banking locations in the state of California. But why? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today. I want to show you this because this is very interesting. Look at this right here. It says major US banks, including Bank of America and Chase, closed 55 branches in just two weeks. Is yours affected? Well, here's what I can tell you. The amount of banks that have closed recently is scary. Look at this, okay? Look at this. I thought this was very interesting. It's from American Banker. It says, these US banks closed the most branches in the second quarter of 2024. It says banks recently have been closing more branches than they are opening with the top five banks in this ranking closing a net total of 148 locations in the second quarter of 2024 up from 100 net closures in the first quarter in the 12 month period that ended june 30th these top five banks closed a net total of 492 branches now i'm gonna break down why this is in just a second but i want to show you which banks these are so the first one, okay, I'm going to go and look at this number. This is the last 12 months, okay, ending then the end of June. But U.S. Bank closed the most, 103, okay, or based off total uh, banks, that is. Uh, so uh, U.S. Bank closures by most branches, U.S. Bank, 103. J.P. Morgan Chase uh, has actually opened three. Co uh, Comerica Bank closed 29. PNC Bank closed 124. Wells Fargo closed 239 banks. Uh, Citizen Bank, uh, 77 have closed. Capital One Bank, 27 have closed. Key Bank, 22 have closed. Bank of America, 77. Citibank, all the way down here at the bottom, 14 have closed in the past year. Now, why is this? What are they doing with our money? Well, here's what we know. Here are some of the major reasons why banks are closing down. Now, what you need to keep in mind is how do you bank? What do you use a physical banking location for? For me personally, and I've talked about this openly here on this channel, I don't go into uh, my banks very often. If I do, it's really for one main reason. I'm actually going to do a, uh, a cashier's check to transfer funds to another account. That's really the only reason why I go into a bank. Okay. I don't go in there for a loan. Think about it. When was the last time you have gone into your bank to file for a loan? Think about it. When was the last time? I know for me personally, I haven't done it. I haven't done it. For number one, I haven't needed a loan recently. Uh, when I got a loan for my uh, most recent home purchase, um, didn't even need to go into a bank. Okay, I did a lot of stuff online, reached out to a lender, and everything was done you know, via email. Almost everything was done through email. But when was the last time you went to the bank to cash a, a check? 
like check your balance. You check your balance online, cash to check. You can take a picture from your smartphone and you can cash your check that way. All right? You can do it all online. When was the last time you went in to take money out? And I know a lot of people say, oh, you can just go to the ATM machine. You don't even have to go to the ATM machine. I can go to um, any store. I could go to a, a Fred Meyer, or Kroger. I could go to a probably a Best Buy or dollar store. And I could get cash back on my transaction. And in some cases, it's free. I, I don't have to pay anything to get cash back. Yeah. So instead of going to an ATM machine and maybe getting charged two to potentially seven dollars for a transaction for an out of network uh, ATM, I can just go to Target and get cash back. That's how simple that is. Again, never need to go to a bank. Now, if banks and traditionally or historically banks, you go in and you know you check your balance, you can cash a check, you can take money out, you can go straight to the cashier. You can do all those things with an ATM machine. You can do all those things with that little device that you put in your hand, okay? Your cell phone. Yeah, you can do all those things from your cell phone. So this is why banks are closing. And I was talking to a friend of mine recently uh, who manages a bank uh, down in California, a small regional bank, and he was saying the exact same thing, that he's been in the banking industry for about 18 years, 19 years, something like that, and he thinks it's about time to change. He does not think the banking industry is a, a viable business, something that he wants to stay in for another 10 to 20 years, mainly because he doesn't think he will be around that long. He thinks the banking industry is going to change. Banks are going to close. And as banks close and, and these employees go find a different job, what are you going to do? And I bring this up because some people don't like using the internet. Some people aren't safe going to a, or don't feel safe going to an ATM machine and taking money out. Some people don't like cashing a check using their cell phone or taking it to an ATM machine, putting it through the little, uh, you know, little slot and hoping that everything's done right. So this is another issue that we are going to face is what about all those that are unbanked? don't have a debit card, don't have a savings account. What about all them? What do they do? So I bring this to your attention for one main reason. We are getting uh, reports that more banks are going to be closing. I talked to another person, uh, an acquaintance, not really a close friend, but he said that banks are starting to change. Their hours of, opera their hours of operation are becoming less. Their services are becoming limited. They will just tell you to go online and they are simply closing nearby competing locations. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Now I bring this up because this same uh, friend or kind of acquaintance of mine, um, he was telling me about a, uh, a Wells Fargo location that was very close, about I think within like five miles, four miles of another location. And they had another smaller branch of Wells Fargo, probably two miles away, kind of in the middle. And what they decided to do was they closed the one of the main branches, they closed a small location and kept the other one. Interesting. So all this stuff's happening right now. But the crazy part about it is nobody's talking about it. You know why? Because we're dealing with inflation. We're dealing with federal, um, the Federal Reserve just cut interest rates just the other day. So that's a big discussion. The stock market, in some days it's running up, other days it's selling off. We're still dealing with the real estate prices and affordability crisis. We're still uh, having a big issue because we got a presidential election in less than two months. So we got all these things happening right now here inside the United States. So nobody's talking about what is happening or what could potentially happen in the very near future where banks are going to close down and you will see no physical banking locations. So we'll see what happens moving forward, but as of today, that is what we know. The one thing I do wanna leave you with and the one thing I do wanna ask you is, what do you do at a bank? When was the last time you have been in a bank? And again, why did you go in there? Let me know down in the comment section below, but that is what I have for you guys today. So again, thank you guys for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next 